do you think that everybody has to have that mentality of like doing the thing to generate the cash in order to get the outcome? Or do you think that if you played the game you're playing as it is now from a position of like financial freedom, five, 10 years ago, you'd still get to the same point. I'm curious of your hindsight on this now. Yeah, this is this is interesting. I look back on my life and those impact moments, those inflection points, those really painful experiences I had in my life are the things that trigger big change. T- totally. So without them, would I have made the change? And I'm going to have to say no. So if the Sydney event never happened, would I have changed my mindset? No. Wouldn't have started the journey. Would another event come up if I didn't go to that Sydney event that found the same thing potentially maybe like maybe it was always inevitable that i would end up on that path but it seems to be that those moments are the things right it's like finance be, becoming financially independent is something that is like hit me right and did i need to go through that to experience this thing of choice yes like i really find that those truth moments those moments where you are in the thick of it are required to be open to the massive change. Like it, it, it can be huge if kids another really big one. When Jack was born, I legitimately remember like it's imprinted in me. He comes into this world and I have this moment of like, it's my job to look after that. Yeah. yeah. The severity of responsibility is there that I take seriously. So it's like, you know, that's something, again, it's like these are my beliefs. I'm not saying they're right or wrong or other people should have them or anything like that, but it's just the experiences I've I've had in those moments. I really, really have. So could you potentially learn some of these things or do them without having to have the moment? I'm not sure. I'm open-minded to that. Uh, Potentially, maybe there's some things I'm already doing where I haven't had to have those moments, but I very much notice the ones where I have. Yeah. For me, I I found... I found the moments were the the forcing of the break. Like it was like this real hard break and you're just like, oh, shit. And you, like in those moments I just felt forced to confront some previous beliefs that I thought and were holding true and I'm like, well, I'm the problem now. Um, so to your point, like I agree, like you can't go and change the past or anything like that and the moments that have broken me are the ones that have actually improved where I go and, and how I progress. It's just – I find it interesting. Have you ever considered seeking out more of those moments? Because I know I have. Just, just wait. Hazel, what else have I fucked up? <laughs> what, like, just go, you know, hey, mum, what other, like, bad money beliefs you got? Like, <laughs> how would you go and seek them out? It's a really good question. I, I, I don't have an answer to that exact thing, but I'll lay this one in a different way. There's likely going to be a whole bunch of business owners that listen to this totally. that haven't had that moment. It don't, yeah, totally. Right, so, <laughs> Wait, yeah, yeah. Have a kid or get married. <laughs> yeah. I actually know another one. I know someone that bought a house they couldn't afford <sighs> and that was the trigger because they put so much financial pressure on them that that was their moment that, you know, f- turned them on. I'd yeah. say, so like, there are ways to. In- I I would think that there are ways to induce these types of events, or construct them in a healthier way. It's not the way I went about it, but I would certainly think about it. But if you're someone that is listening to this podcast, maybe it's this podcast. Maybe mm-hmm. it's shining lights on reflections of these things, and instead of brushing over the episode, you like lean in, yeah, like really lean in. Which, which, it's it's an interesting point. Like one of the other ones that was really confronting for me was when I couldn't pay rent. And Hazel was the one that went and paid rent. Um, like that was, and funnily enough, I never had those problems again. I just had different problems. Um, and it was actually interesting. I know you and I have spoken about this before. I always thought that I have, was playing from a handicap because I came from a decent family, and everybody else who was like thoroughly successful had like dys, were dyslexic, broken homes, like went bankrupt. Like they had these things, and I'm like, I got none of that. And so, like, you always watch like the Tony Robbins. And, start, and I'm just like, not, none of this is me, right? And so like then you start trying to find the problems and you can't really find them. And I'm just like, well, maybe I'm just a weirdo. Um, and so that's where I had to blaze my own path of actually going, okay, well, now these things are broken. Hazel asked the question. I'm like, well, fuck, what, what don't people talk about? And that was where I found the problems that I had, the, the little challenges that I had. And that really helped me unpack it. 
A mentor of mine said that no one escapes their childhood grant. No one. It's tr- it is tr- it is surprising how much that keeps popping up because I used to look back at my childhood and go, it was like it was perfect, like it was awesome. And then like these little- maybe I think we've unpacked some things here that would say there might be some frames you've put around that. But you that was say the thing. it's perfect. It, that was a thing. Like it was just like I just adjusted it, my interpretation, until this thing broke, which was the hazel moment. And then I'm like, oh shit, actually, no, I've just mastered it. <laughs> hey, fellow business owner, if this topic and value packed short video has resonated with you at all, and you want to dive deeper into creating wealth inside and outside your business, check out the full episode by clicking the link on your screen or in the description right now.